Whoa, I... I thought you were dead. My death was... greatly exaggerated. So, you're the punk I've heard about. <laughs> Hello. After almost 50 days, I am back. And not only am I back to spread the joy of painting, but I am also here to ask the lifelong question that all the previous generations of artists have asked themselves repeatedly. The famed question I'm talking about is drawing every day versus drawing just when you feel like it. If you're a beginner artist, then you surely have asked yourself, is it better if I just draw every day as much as I can? Or should I just draw when I feel like it? When you get online and you ask for this exact question, you basically get no answer. Because there's exactly the same amount of stuff on both ends. But what gives? These are all professional people. Or even if they're just hobby artists. Most of them, if not all of them, are very skilled. So can't we just do what they did? Can't they just tell us what they did? Why would there even be such a great debate about drawing every day and drawing just when you feel like it? They could just tell their fanbase what they did to become the artist they are right now. And that's where I come in. Because frankly, I have done both. And I can tell you that neither of these sides with, you know, people trying to defend drawing every day versus people trying to defend drawing whenever they just feel like it is wrong, nor are they right. Because for the first part, drawing every day and drawing whenever you feel like it can be the same thing. It all comes down to how much you feel like drawing. If you feel like you want to draw every minute of every day you can draw, then you will be drawing every day. A lot. But if you're more like me and probably 99% of all other humans, then you probably only feel like drawing every now and then. Maybe not even every second day. Which is completely fine, but you will also gain less experience drawing. And that is where the point of the drawing whenever you feel like camp comes in. The point they are making is that you will always retain more information if you had fun and you actually wanted to draw. And to be fair, this is true. However, it's also not the case that you retain absolutely no information if you draw something and you just don't really feel like drawing at the moment. And since I'm no neuroscientist or, you know, brain doctor, I can't really tell you if the benefit ratio of drawing every day versus drawing only when you feel like it has a clear winner in information retained after half an hour of drawing. But something I can tell you is that even if you draw every day and you do not like to draw every day, or it's the other way around, it all comes down to your mindset. And I'm not talking about, you know, the alpha mindset and grind set. I'm talking about the mindset that you have when you draw. I have caught myself drawing brainlessly for hours, and this is what we would call a flow state. It is what happens when you do something that most of the time you enjoy, and your brain just blends everything out that is not the task that you do at the moment. Time flies, and you realize that you've been drawing for four hours, and the music stopped after 30 minutes. And that is exactly the kind of mind state that you want when you draw. See for yourself how you can best achieve this kind of flow state and use it. Because when you are in that state, your brain is just absorbing everything you do. You might not notice it directly. Obviously, you're not going to be a second Da Vinci or so after having the flow state 10 times. But you will gradually get better. And that just by drawing basically mindlessly. So could we say that drawing every day is the actual answer? We certainly could say yes, if we were robots and didn't have emotions and depression wasn't a thing. Because believe it or not, our little brains are hardwired to make us feel good. And if we make us feel bad by drawing every day, even though we do not want to draw, we tend to not like drawing after a while. And changing your opinion on drawing, even though drawing should be your passion, will make you 
kind of depressed. And with that little bit of sadness inside your brain, it will naturally try to revert what it's done and cheer you up and make you draw. However, if you draw and it doesn't come out super good, then you're just more depressed. I don't think I need to say more than that. It will just send you into a downwards spiral. So now with that piece of information, we're back again at the point where we could say drawing when you feel like it is the better option. And I have to say that I reluctantly agree because even though in the long run, like in the very, very long run, you will probably have a happier time drawing and improving, you will also need a very, very long time to draw and improve. If you are 15 now and your goal is to be an artist when you are 43, then that's probably the way to do it. You'll have a good time drawing and you'll have even better times once you see that you improve. And with all the time that you have to your disposal, you will surely become a very good artist on a professional level when you're 40 plus. Now for all other people that are like me in their 20s and they'd like to be professional artists when they're 30, I've got kinda bad news for us. It's not that we need to draw every day relentlessly even if it makes us miserable, but it is that we have to draw more than we would want. For those looking to become real professionals in 5 to 10 years, you will need to draw a lot more than you would actually want. If you're not a crazy person, that is. Because what you're looking at is a journey of 5 to 10 years drawing at least every second to third day. And that is if you can spend quite some time on a drawing. If you have no time at all, then you will see yourself needing to draw every day and only stopping these habits if you realize that it will just make you miserable and not like art anymore. And hearing that might be kind of sad, but there's a little hope in it. Because the older we get, the better we are at doing things that we don't want to do. And if you are 20 plus in the USA, if you're 21, then you are an adult, you can even drink, and you can make your own choices, which means that you can make the right ones. And when it's time, you know, Friday evening and your boys are going out into the club and you have to decide if you go with them or if you stay at home and draw, you probably know what the right answer is. And it takes a specific kind of mind to make the right choice. And that's the artist mind. So in conclusion, I would say that drawing every day and drawing the right things every day, I'll make a video on that separately, is the most beneficial thing you can do as long as you know when to stop. So if you're feeling really, really down and you really can't draw, then don't do it. It will damage your artistic experience in the long run. However, you have to make sacrifices to achieve what you want. And that means sometimes jumping over the shadow of procrastination and sitting down and drawing that thing. And since keeping up the momentum when drawing every day is kind of hard, even for professionals, you know, that's stuff that we call art block. I'm thinking of making a video about art block and specifically about how to avoid it. So leave a like if you want to see that. And I wish you all happy drawing.